Hi guys, it's Jen here and welcome to Jen's Wild About Art. So today I'm going to do a picture of a meerkat for you. I saw these gorgeous little animals at Werribee Free Range Zoo. Um, they have their rather large enclosure next to the cafe. So we literally sat at our table having a cup of coffee and these little meerkats were sitting right next to us on the other side of the glass. They were just fabulous. And they were all standing on their little rocks and running around and playing and guarding each other and absolutely stunning little things so this little one was actually sitting on the window ledge right next to me <laughs> and looking up just watching the sky watching for birds I suppose so I got this awesome little photo of it so I've just done the rough outline and now I'm get going in with a bit of yellow ochre and I'm using my uh what are they they're my silver black velvet watercolor brushes um, and I'm using my Sennelia and Schminky paints and at the end I'll go in with a little bit of ink as well and just with my ink pens, my uh, pit pens and just touch up around the eyes and the fingertips and everywhere else. So now I'm just going over the second layer with yellow ochre again, um, very runny wash, a very watery wash and just doing a teeny little bit of fur texture and now I'm going in with a little bit of transparent umber around the darker patches on his coat so they've got he's got a lot of shadow quite a lot of shadow there and they've got little stripes on their back so I'll pop them in lightly with the transparent umber now or transparent sienna rather and then I go in with a bit of grey I make a grey with a little bit of Payne's grey and a little bit of gouache and I just make that sort of bluey grey for the shadowed part of his white fur and then I go in with a bit a bit, a bit of stronger transparent sienna and add a bit more fur texture and down to his tail and then on the very tip of his tail I use a bit of burn umber and a bit of ultramarine just to make that very browny black colour and then I take that around his nose, his eyes and his fingertips and around the trim of his fur then I pop with a bit of Payne's Grey, I pop his pupil and his nostrils and the fur in his ear and a little bit just around his lips and around the dark lines on his fur. And now I'm doing the background. So I've mixed, mixed a greeny grey and I've used yellow ochre and ultramarine. And I'm just running that around just the back, the whole background. And I'm using a, a nice watercolour paper today. I've got um, my Archer's watercolour paper. So now I'm doing the rocks in and I'm just doing it with a, a yellow ochre ultramarine, slightly thicker mix just to make the greeny, just a slog, stronger green. And now I've made a grey for the darkest area underneath him and around him. That will dry a little bit lighter. It does sort of dry fractionally lighter. And then I sponge it out just to give it a bit of texture. So now I'm going in with a little bit more trans, or oh, sorry, a bit, bit of burnt sienna. And I'm taking that down his fur line and following the direction of his fur. I'm just doing the odd stroke here or there. It just, you know, you don't have to do fur everywhere on them. Um, and then I've done that, taking it down his tail. So now I'm going in with my pit pens and I'm just popping his fingertips and his eyes and the darkest areas with a dark grey. And then I go in with a light grey, cool grey, just around his muzzle and around the shadow areas on his fur. And I find that, yeah, these pit pens, you know, they're permanent, they're light fast, they're water resistant or waterproof rather. So they go really well with watercolour and I'm actually using them over the top. You could use them underneath and, and do a wash over the top. But yeah, I'm just adding them as the final details on top. And I'm using a few different tones of grey so I'm now taking that down his stripes as well. And just do a few little strokes of fur around. And then I go in with indigo, just onto the tip of his nose and the tip of the top of his eye. And a little bit around his ear and his cheek and the tip of his tail. And we're done. I hope you enjoyed this portrait of this gorgeous little meerkat. I love doing this little guy. Um, yeah, I'd love it if you click like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys for the next video. Have an awesome day and I'll catch you then. Okie doke. Bye.